My dear elegant ladies, if you want to look elegant this summer and not like an average Joe, then stay away from these 10 items that will only cheapen and downgrade your appearance. I don't want you to do these fashion mistakes. Let's go through the list of the items that you shouldn't be caught wearing this summertime. But first, a little disclaimer. You see, we live in a time where many people get offended for absolutely everything. So here comes a trigger warning. This video is intended as fashion and styling advice for women who want to adopt more of an elegant and sophisticated fashion style. This might not be a fashion style that you want to have. In that case, you might get triggered by some of these advice that I will be sharing in this video. So if you get easily triggered, now might be a good time to switch off. Anyway, ladies, Ladies, let's start with point number one. So point number one is something that I think every one of you have seen around for many, many years now, and it's something that really stings my eyes every time I have to look at this. And I'm talking about the mom jeans shorts. Yes, ladies, if the mom jeans already weren't enough, we also have to face the mom jeans shorts in summertime. And I'm particularly talking about those high-waisted, denim blue, they can be sometimes light blue, think like Levis type of style jeans, but they're cut off in a way. They might be a little bit ripped, but overall, these type of jeans, they are not really considered elegant. And why is that? They look very casual, plus jeans in general, downgrades a look rather than lifts a look. This doesn't mean that you can never wear jeans. There are definitely elegant ladies who do wear jeans, but it's a matter of pulling it off the right way. But I often find ladies that these mom jean shorts because they're so high in the waist and everything kind of goes up it sometimes look like one big diaper or maybe that even you're pregnant the reason why the mom jeans in general became so popular is because they kind of tuck the whole stomach in as they go quite high but what happens instead is that many women from a profile they kind of look a little bit pregnant and it all looks kind of very stuffy in this area which is why it's so Seldom a very flattering look, and generally speaking, not very elegant to wear these type of jean shorts. Elegance mistake number two, the high-waisted bikini bottom, or thong in some cases. It has a little drawstring, and you can really pull this up. Think Borat style, the mankini. Do you remember the mankini? Yes, ladies. <laughs> Here we have a female version of mankini, and ladies like to pull it up almost up to their ears. Now, I get it. We have this kind of trend right now with these type of bikini bottoms, but this one in particular makes makes me really <laughs> disgusted every time I see it on my Instagram feed. I'm really, really sorry, ladies, whoever is wearing this type of thing. I know many influencers do and many models as well, but ladies, it doesn't matter because every time a lady wears that and she pulls those little strings, making that thing look like a proper pad sitting like that. It's almost like the person wants to really highlight, you know, their crotch area. And I don't find that to be elegant. I find that to be a little bit more towards the vulgar side. I understand if maybe some cultures, you might have this more appropriate in your culture, but definitely if you want to have more of an elegant style, I really don't think these type of bikini bottoms are going to signal elegance. Definitely go for something more traditional, something that feels a bit covered up because this really draws the attention there. And maybe they also became popular because ladies want to elongate their legs, hence they pull this up almost to their ears, you know? But I personally don't think that it, it looks good, okay? And that's my opinion. If this is your thing, then at least try not to pull it up so high. Less is more in some cases, okay? Elegance mistake number three. Rubber flip-flops outside of the beach or pool area. Now let me tell you one thing, I am definitely guilty of this one back in the days and this one comes from my learnings. Because I remember very clearly those days when you run your errands wearing rubber flip-flops or you think it's appropriate footwear to just go for a walk around town in. But let me tell you ladies, if you want to practice elegance, you need to understand that every type of garment or clothing or shoe, let's say in this case, it has its appropriate time 
to wear. In this case, the rubber flip-flop, it is really more intended to, to be worn around the pool area, when you go to the beach, etc. However, what we see around town sometimes is, you know, the average Joe wearing her denim blue skinny jeans and her rubber flip-flops as she goes shopping or running errands or doing whatever it is that she's doing. And this is what makes someone look average. I don't want you to look average this summer. I want you to look elevated, upgraded, elegant. And what you should be wearing instead is a leather sandal. I personally like to wear my Hermes Oran sandals. They are like an elegant version of the flip-flop. You can wear them to the beach. Um, you can kind of wear them to the pool as well, but you can actually also wear them as you walk around in town. That's actually absolutely fine. If you don't want to spend on Hermes, then you can definitely find something similar, something cheaper, that is made out of leather and not out of rubber material, because that's ultimately what downgrades this type of shoe. Oh ladies, and one more thing, there are two variations that I also want you to avoid. We're talking about the platform flip-flop or Havaianas, you know, the one that goes a bit like a wedge. No, 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 no. But we also have the famous Birkenstock, <laughs> you know? And the Birkenstock is something that I don't think ever will be seen as feminine, elegant, or attractive by any heterosexual man out there. Now, the only Birkin that I would allow in my closet is a Birkin bag and never a Birkenstock. Oh, Birkenstock, don't sue me, please. Elegance mistake number four. The romper, but also known as a play suit. And I'm talking about the shorter one. Now, this one is a personal hate favorite of mine because I... Every time I see them, I just like, oh, you know, go a bit like that because they are not flattering. The material is often this, this really cheap, like, like cotton and it, it looks a little bit ugly in the bottom, like behind. It almost looks like a little kind of enlarged shorts or sometimes like you have done it in your pants, basically. What I also don't like is that, believe it or not, because it's usually on the shorter side, you can actually see up the body parts very easy, especially during movement. And many times you might also see it on the body where a romper like that, it might not look very flattering. And everything is just kind of dangling around, especially if you start looking in the back. No. We want to wear clothing that is flattering for us. Now, there is an exception for when this type of play suit would be somehow acceptable. And that is if it's made out of a different material, maybe a more sturdy material, maybe more tailored, maybe a little bit more higher end. Yes, ladies, I have sometimes seen play suits that can look definitely elegant, but I'm now referring to the kind of cotton, cheap looking play suit that we really do see a lot during summer. And the reason why it's not elegant is because it looks cheap, it is too common, it is not feminine, not flattering, and if you have a body type like me, I'm an hourglass, you might actually get problem in the crotch area or in the groin area because usually our type of body shapes do not fit well in those. You need to be a little bit more straight in your body type. It usually just gets a bit too tight there. For these reasons, ladies, I don't recommend the play suit for many reasons. Elegance mistake number five. I think you remember this one from Pretty Woman. Do you remember her iconic dress when she picked up her client on the street? Oh yes, that dress. And it had a particular type of fabric, especially on the top part. I don't remember in the bottom part. Ladies, this fabric has made a comeback and currently every other influencer is either wearing a dress of this fabric or a bikini and my head is like exploding. What's happening? This fabric is not elegant. It looks a little bit like 80s or 90s. And it's just a very cheap looking nylon fabric. As you can see on the pictures, ladies, this looks very juvenile. This does not resemble elegance whatsoever. And quite honestly, even the bikini, I just think that no, just no. If this type of material cheapened Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman, why would it elevate you, ladies? Why? Exactly, it wouldn't. So don't wear it. Stay away from this trendy fabric because I bet you soon is gonna be gone. Gone with the wind. 
Before we continue, ladies, don't forget that I have a cheat sheet waiting for you and it's absolutely free of charge. Visit ClassyCheatSheet.com to download this cheat sheet on how you can look expensive with minimal effort simply by following my steps of guidance. Go to ClassyCheatSheet.com and download it right now. Elegance mistake number six. Unfortunately, ladies, this item is never gone with the wind, although I wish it would be. I see it season after season after season, and <laughs> every time I see it, my eyes wanna bleed, because this is a print that looks so incredibly cheap, no matter how expensive the garment is, and no matter who wears it. I'm talking about the small floral print, especially on a cotton dress. Okay, here I need to make something very clearly for you because what happens often in my YouTube videos is that people don't listen to every single word that I say, jump to conclusions and think that now I say that all floral prints are horrible, are tacky, you cannot wear it, etc., etc. And ladies, that is not the case. There are some floral prints that are very beautiful, very feminine, very attractive. However, there is one that haunts me year after year, and that's the one that is like very tiny florals. Oftentimes I see it in black with maybe like red flowers and a bit of white flowers as well. You can also have it like a red dress with like white flowers and maybe some other color. Every time you see that like small floral print, just stay away. The problem is that it's incredibly common and I see so many women do this mistake. They think that, oh, summertime, time to put on a cute little floral dress and they go and they purchase this type of print that actually just downgrades them. It doesn't elevate them. It doesn't make them look more expensive. It just cheapens their appearance. I like florals. I have uh, dresses with floral patterns and I will definitely continue to wear florals. But again, I think about finding bigger prints. They don't have to be much bigger, just a little bit bigger. And what's really important is to make sure that this floral print is not on a cotton material because the floral together with the cotton is a really bad combination that makes it look super cheap. So make sure if you wear something floral, it will not be on cotton. Elegance mistake number seven. Now the cycling shorts, they're not sexy on men and they're not sexy on women either. If you like to show a bit of camel toe, then maybe the cycling pants might be for you. However, I have spoken in my previous video on the same topic, 10 things elegant ladies never wear, and I did talk about leggings, how it's a big no-no in my world to wear as a normal garment. However, the cycling shorts is the summer variation to the leggings, yet it's a massive trend right now. It's such a trend that we also see women wear like a matching little crop top or like like a little sports bra, you know, matching sports bra together with the cycling shorts. And ladies, I get it. If you're doing sports, fine. I would also wear something like that if it's really hot. But please, why are we wearing it when we go to restaurants? Why are we wearing it as this kind of regular clothing item? I don't think it's appropriate. I think it's also too revealing. Maybe on somebody who haven't hit puberty, this might look fine. But any other woman should really think twice before putting that on. And let me tell you also one thing, because you know, I talk a lot about fabrics. The really, really worst is again, when you wear the cycling shorts in the cotton format. I don't think the spandex one is that much better, but if I really had to choose, then I would probably wear the spandex one. Although I really, really hope that you will never see me wear that unless I'm doing sports. Elegance mistake number eight, the racer back tank top. Now, if you are here because you want to elevate your appearance, not to downgrade your appearance, then I really don't see how this, this, this tank top is gonna get you to where you want to be. This type of garment is so incredibly casual. It looks like a cut-off t-shirt where it's kind of loose-fitted and uh, not flattering in any form of way. It's not even showing really off your body shape. As a woman, if you want to dress feminine, you should really emphasize on your shape and, and show it when possible. 
Again, this is something that should be worn for sports. For sports, it's fine. I wear this type of top myself when I do sports, but I would never put something like that on when I'm just like going for a meeting or, or catching up with girlfriends on a drink. Surely there are some other tank tops that can still come across as elegant and they're usually in a um, higher quality material. They're usually fitted and a little bit more tailored in that sense. But generally speaking, a tank top, it's really hard to pull that off. Then there is another thing, ladies, that you need to be aware of, and that is when ladies wear this racerback um, tank top with traditionally structured bras. Uh-huh, you heard me. When the bra straps are showing and when the item, you know, because it goes like, it goes a little bit like that, right? It goes like that. And then you have these bra straps showing. And sometimes, let's say you're wearing this white, <laughs> white uh, tank top and the bra straps are like in black. No bueno, ladies, not a good look and definitely not an elegant look. If you're planning to wear this type of racer back um, tank top, make sure you have a strapless bra because that, ladies, is going to make you look your best. Elegance mistake number nine, the cheap polyester oversized tunic. Now this one I see quite often with middle-aged ladies. I also see it sometimes with plus-size women. And I see ladies like that wear this type of garment, not on the beach. So an oversized tunic is perfect for the beach, can now also look very elegant on the beach, especially if it's done in a more high-end or delicate type of polyester. But what sets off my alarm system is when I see it worn casually as just like a regular piece of garment, you know, on the street, when you go to work, etc. And it's made out of this really kind of cheap polyester, the rougher material. It probably costs you $30 in some shop. And I just don't think that that's money wealth spend. I think that it downgrades your appearance. It also makes you as a woman look bigger than you are. And I do understand why many plus size women, they go for something like that because they think that they need to cover up because they are plus size. And that is such a big myth. And that's something I learned at my image consulting training is that no, if you are plus size, do the opposite. Show off your curves because that's going to make you look slimmer rather than trying to hide behind this big bag or like in this case, this big tunic that is not going to serve you whatsoever. But again, ladies, remember on the beach, a tunic like this is fine. When you're wearing it under a little cute bikini, like a little cover up, sipping your pina colada, that's a totally different story. Now ladies, we have reached elegance mistake number 10. And if you have watched my original video, 10 things elegant ladies never wear, you remember that I said that it's not elegant to wear t-shirts. And I still hold with that statement. Not because you're going to be a tacky person if you wear a t-shirt, no. But a t-shirt is a very casual piece of garment. So if you want to have a more elegant style, the t-shirt is not the way to go. And in summer, we see loads of t-shirts everywhere. And one thing that I want to tell you though, is that yes, if we want to wear a separate, which a t-shirt is a separate, but we don't want it to be a t-shirt, what do we do? That's ladies, when you wear a short sleeve top that is not a t-shirt, you need to know the difference between a t-shirt and a short sleeve top. <laughs> there is a big difference because a t-shirt is usually something more loose it's usually also loose around the arms but a short sleeved top it's usually fitted around the arms and it's more figure fitted or it can sometimes be a little bit straight but it's never baggy on the sides so these two garments that are totally different from each other you cannot misunderstand this so ladies go for the short sleeve top if you want to dress something in those lines but still come across as very elegant and the short sleeve top is very elegant and works perfectly fine in summer. Ladies, that was it for today. If you want to watch the original video that I created on this topic, hop over to that video now. It's called 10 Things Elegant Ladies Never Wear. And it actually is my most popular video of all times. It has now almost 6 million views. So make sure you watch that video after this. I will see you there.